Des Ward. Uh, I teach art in Dunleary Institute of Art and Design uh, and I'm a practicing artist as well. I'm here today to talk about the notebook and its place as an important tool in the thinking of art. It is interesting, I think, to think about the notebook in, in terms of uh, how artwork is a process of uh, making thinking physical. Uh, uh, the physically produced nature of thinking through notebooks depends on three aspects, I think. Uh, the batter of thinking, the poetics of thinking, and the trace of thinking. The original name for the notebook uh, used by artists and natural philosophers and thinkers uh, was the common place. Uh, to call a notebook uh, a common place or a place uh, might seem strange, but I think the idea of the notebook as a physical place is an important uh, idea. Uh, the notebook is not merely uh, an object or an empty container to be filled. Uh, the space of the notebook is not a void or a lack. It is a place for collection, experiment and gathering uh, it is a clearing and it is the ground for thinking. I think in terms of the physical structure of the, of the notebook, I think uh, if you consider that the pages are bound together in a protective cover, uh, the pages are prepared, measured, marked and cleared for work. Uh, the work is arranged vertically or horizontally, isolated on the page or in clusters. Uh, the ideas may be sequential or apparently random. Uh, but they are bound together in, by common interest or issues of concern. It is in this clearing that the physical experiment of drawing uh, may be enacted through the properties of uh, graphic materials. Uh, light and shadow, structure and space find their voice through the potential of the materials. Uh, dry and wet, opaque and transparent, applied with pen or pencil uh, through brush or cutting. Uh, the marks combine to form a complex record uh, of thinking in different times, cultures and disciplines. The very simplicity and commonness of the means and the richness of the work emphasise not the common or low uh, or disposable, but, the na but its nature as a basic, fundamental and democratic or shared uh, tool. In drawings, you can also think about drawing as a, as a poetic act. Um, the ancient Greeks uh, had a word, their word for po poetry was poesis. Uh, it had different uh, connotations. It had the connotation of to make and, and to be made, to produce. Uh, the act of drawing is different from technical making. Uh, it is an act of poesis which transforms and continues the world. It is not merely technique but skilled practice. The skill of drawing is also a discipline through chance and learning uh, from failure and discovery, we develop the skills of discernment. In other words, responsivity and decision making. Through experimentation uh, in the commonplace of the notebook, we measure, we mark, we inscribe. The space opens up uh, through the work, acts like a lens through which the hidden uh, is made visible. Drawing is experimental thinking in the form of attunement. Through this, we discover, as Seamus Heaney describes in his poem, The Diviner, the secret stations broadcasting in the world. I think the purpose uh, of this practice is a thinking outside of ourselves. In making artwork, we think publicly uh, what is common, shared, what concerns us, is remembered and recollected. Through drawing as a trace, our thinking about what, what, what concerns us uh, becomes manifest. Um, we are not merely concerned with what, what is past, uh, what is no longer. We give shape uh, to experimental speculation about, about what might be, uh, the not yet. The recollection of what concerns us in this way is encountered through a world made anew. What is seen as given is transformed, becomes uncanny and shines in a new light. The end or goal of drawing is experienced not as an object but as a trace of a continual process or pathway where we can lose ourselves in wonder and rediscover the commonplace. <laughs>